live analysis, expert discussions on trending stories in politics, business, socioeconomic, sports, and documentaries. So catch all the updates on the happenings around the globe. Stay focused on the fact today. Only on ATN. analysis, expert discussions on trending stories in politics, business, socioeconomic, sports, and documentaries. So catch all the updates on the happenings around the globe. Stay focused on the fact today, only on ATN. celebration of identity, a dance of tradition, and an embrace of individuality. Hello viewers, I'm Selgis. Welcome to ATN Craft Show with Selgis, the African fashion world, a world of diverse colors, rich texture, and captivating stories. Each stitch tells the day of heritage, a celebration of diversity, and a nod to the modern. From the sweeping landscape to the rhyming beat, the African fashion reflects the soul of the continent. Let the runway be your passport to a history of elegance and authenticity. Join me on this sectarian journey that transcends beyond us and unites us in the universal language of style. Once again, welcome to ATN Craft Show with Selgis. Hello everybody, welcome to ATN Craft Show with Selgis. On today's episode, you are going to be learning how to make Ankara belts and to get started you have to be sure that all your materials are ready so the materials needed for this particular tutorial is your you need your leather so I've already done the measurement for our belts which I'm going to explain as we proceed with the class so you need your leather you need your scissors you need your tape you need your pen for your marking you also need your Ankara fabric you need your belt head. So we have different sizes of belt head. For, but for this particular tutorial, I'll be making use of this particular size of the belt head. We have the smaller version, we have the female head, we have this, this can be rock uh, by both genders. So you need your hammer, you need your puncher. This is the puncher, you need your puncher. You need your glue. This is optional, it's not really important. So you also need your gum. You need your piercer, this is optional. And then you also need your sewing machine for this particular tutorial, you need your sewing machine. So as we proceed with the class, you're going to understand and learn how to make your belt by yourself in your comfort zone. So let's get started. Firstly, you're going to do your measurements. You're going to measure the length of your belt. But for this tutorial, like I said earlier, I've already done my measurement. So I used 
45 inches as the length of the belt I want to make. 5 inches as the length of the belt I want to make. The width of the belt is determined by the width of this part of the head. Of the belt. To get the width of the belt you want to make, you have to measure from this point to this point of your belt head. So when I did my measurement from this point to this point, I had 1.5 inches as from here to here gave me 1.5 inches. So why do my measurement? Instead of using the exact 1.5 inches, I'm going to reduce the width a little. I'm going to redu reduce the width a little. So that was what I did to get this to get this. You can see. I cut this into two places. As you can see, I cut this into two places. 45 inches as the length. And because the head of our belt, the width of the head of our belt is 1.5 inches, I did that cutting then to get our width. So now, you also need to do another measurement. This is half inch. This is half inch as the width. So you cut it into two places. Half inch by five inches as the length. The length of this is five inches. Why the width is half inch. So I cut this into two places. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to place my Ankara fabric on a flat surface just like this. This is the wrong side of the Ankara fabric. Why this is the right side of my Ankara fabric? So the wrong side of the fabric will be facing me. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'll bring out one part of the leather that I have already cut. Then I'm going to, remember I told you I always apply, I always turn my gun into an empty machine oil container. This stuff as my gun brush. So I do that to get a neat finishing at the end of the day. So I'm going to apply my gum now on this part of the... But before then, I forgot to tell you, before we apply our gum to the edge, I don't want the edge of our belt to be squared like this. So I'm just going to put these two things together like this. I make sure that they are on the same line. Then I'll fold them into two equal halves. Then I'll bring out my scissors. Then I'm going to carve the edge like this. Follow up properly so that you get it well. I'm going to carve the edge this way, just like this. So now, once I'm done doing that, I'll open it up. This is what we have. So this is how the edge looks like. So since I've successfully carved the edge, I'll put it on a flat surface, then I'll apply my gum on it, all over it this way. Make sure that I applied my gum all over it. This way. It's very easy to make, doesn't take time to produce a bed, doesn't take Ankara belt, doesn't take time. So You're going to, you're going to, after applying your gum, you're going to keep this aside for it to dry. Then you repeat the same step on this other part. Remember, we cut this into two places. So we, we've gone, we've applied our gum on this, on the first part. So we are going to apply our gum on this other part as well. 
just the way we did on the first part. So I make sure I spread my gum all over it. So once I'm done doing that, I'm going to keep this aside for it to dry. Now, why I keep this aside for it to dry, I'll bring out the first part that we did. And then I'm going to go into our fabric. So once I'm done gumming it to our fabric, I'm going to cut off the excess fabric, leaving, I'm going to cut off the fabric rather, leaving some excesses all around. Just like this. So this is what we have. So I'll turn it this way, then I'll use my hand, hands to dress the fabric on it so that it will have wrinkles. From the line across the ocean to the land beyond the mountains, through the Sahara, we bring on sport news, live analysis, expert discussions on trending stories in politics, business, socio-economy, sports, and documentaries. So catch all the updates on the happenings around the globe. Stay focused on the fact today, only on ATN. Hello viewers, I'm Selgis. Welcome to ATN Craft Show with Selgis, the African fashion world, a world of diverse colors, rich texture, and captivating stories. African fashion isn't just clothing, it is a celebration of identity, a dance of tradition, and an embrace of individuality. Each stitch tells a day of heritage, a celebration of diversity, and a nod to the modern. From the sweeping landscape to the rhyming beat, the African fashion reflects the soul of a continent. Let the runway be your passport to a tapestry of elegance and Join me on this sectarian journey that transcends beyond us and unites us in the universal language of style. Once again, welcome to ATN Craft Show with Sarah. I will apply my gown now on the edge, all over the edge of this layer that is inside. Because I'm going to be folding the SS fabric to it.
So I'm done um, applying my gum to it. So I'll keep it aside for it to dry. Why I wait for it to dry? I'll bring out the other parts. Remember we cut this into two places. I'll bring out the other parts and gum it to our fabric as well. Just the way I, this, just the same way I did on this part we just finished working on. So I'm done gumming the fabric to it, so I'm just going to apply my gum on the edge, just the same way we did on the other part, like this. So I'm done applying my gum to it, so I'll keep it aside for it to dry. Then I'll bring out the first part that we worked on, and then let me show you what I mean. So this is how we are going to gum this SS fabric to the leather, to this leather that is inside. So we'll gather this edge this way, and we'll fold it this way so that it won't have wrinkles. So this is how we do it. You can see. You can see. This is how it is. So we fold the SS fabric like this. So when I get to this point, I'm going to fold it this way. Then I'll apply my a little gum on this edge so that by the time I gum them together, it will be able to lap properly. So this is how it is. I successfully gummed it. This is how it is. So I'm going to keep this aside and I'll bring out this other part and repeat the same step. Sunset embrace, Sergi's fashion. 
Nation, a symbol of praise. Praise that the story so profound. With every stitch, a heritage is found. So I'm only repeating the same step. So this is what we have. This is what we have. So now, we're going to be joining these two things together, like this. The wrong side will be facing the wrong side. Remember, this is the, the rough side. This is the rough side. So these two rough sides will be facing each other like this. So I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew these two things together. I'll sew them together. I'll sew the edges. I'll run, take it to my machine and sew the edges all round. But before we do that, I'll keep this aside. Remember I told you we also cut the smaller parts. This is half inch. Then by the length is five inches. So we cut this into two places. And then we are going to quickly wrap it up with our fabric as well. So we repeat the same step. We apply our gum on it. Just like this. Same step, I'm repeating the same step. So, once I'm done doing that, I like to dry for a while, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gumming it immediately because I'm using a very strong gum. So, I'll just gum it to the fabric, leaving some excesses all around, just like this. So, I'll cut off the fabric, leaving some excesses all around. Just like this. So I'll do the same thing on this other part. So once I'm done doing this, I'll fold this fabric aside. I'll fold this fabric and Keep it aside. From the line across the ocean, through the Sahara, we bring on sport news, live analysis, expert discussions on trending stories in politics, business, socio-economy, sports, and documentaries. So catch all the updates on the happenings around the globe. Stay focused on the fact today. Only on ATM. Hello viewers, I'm Selgis. Welcome to ATM Craft Show with Selgis, the African fashion world, a world of diverse colors, rich texture and captivating stories. African fashion isn't just clothing, it is a celebration of identity, a dance of tradition and an embrace of individuality. Each stitch tells the day of heritage, a celebration of diversity and a nod to the modern. From the sweeping landscape to the rhyme it beat, the African fashion reflects the soul of the continent. Let the runway be your passport. We just tie. Once again, welcome to ATN Cash Show with Serges. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply my, my gum on the edges. Just like this. Then I'll go. I'm going to fold the edges with the SS fabric this way. Fashion, a symbol of praise. Praise that the story so 
So I repeat the same step on this so that part. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this SS fabric now to the leather. Folding the SS fabric to the leather. So this is what we have. This is the rough part. So I'll repeat the same step on this other one. This is what we have. So remember, this is the rough part, and this is the rough part. The rough part facing the rough part. So I'll gum these two things together, or I'll place them together this way. Then I'll take it to my sewing machine, and I'm going to sew through all the edges like this. Sew the edges this way. From the line across the ocean. To the land beyond the mountains, through the Sahara, we bring on sport news, live analysis, expert discussions on trending stories in politics, business, socio-economy, sports, and documentaries. So catch all the updates on the happenings around the globe. Stay focused on the fact today, only on ATN. Together this way. Pause. Pause. We are about to sew the edges of this belt that we just created with our sewing machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to align these parts that we carved together. I'll make sure that they fit properly. Then I'll sew them. I'll sew it together this way so we've successfully sewed through the edges you can see as well so this is going to go around this this way and to do that we are going to fold this part now together into two equal halves like this, and I'm going to sew the edge by half inch. So let me do that. I'm going to sew the F edge by half inch. So once I'm done doing that, I'll cut off the SS fabric. Hello viewers, I'm Selgis. Welcome to ATN Craft Show with Selgis, the African fashion world, a world of diverse colors, rich texture, and captivating stories. African fashion isn't just clothing, it is a celebration of identity, a dance of tradition, and an embrace of individuality. Each stitch tells the day of heritage, a celebration of diversity, and a nod to the modern. From the sweeping landscape to the rhyme it beat, the African fashion reflects the soul of a continent. Let the runway be your passport to a tapestry of elegance and authenticity. Join me on this sectarian journey that transcends beyond others and unites us in the universal language of style. Once again, welcome to ATN Craft Show with Sergis. From the line 
across the ocean to the land beyond the mountains. Through the Sahara, we bring on sport news, live analysis, expert discussions on trending stories in politics, business, socio-economy, sports, and documentaries. So catch all the updates on the happenings around the globe. Stay focused on the fact today only on ATM. Then I'll bring out this. I'm going to measure 2.5 inch from this angle. Then I'll mark where our 2.5 inches ended. Ended here with my pen. So you can see this point that I just traced out my pen. I'll use my piercer to pierce through. Now once I'm done doing that, I'll bring out my puncher. This is my puncher. So I'll use this part of the puncher. I'll place it on that part. Then I'll bring out my hammer. Then I'm going to hit it. So this is how it looks. We've successfully pierced a hole through this way. You're going to be learning how to insert our bed head into it. And to do that, we first of all bring out this part that we created. Then we turn it inside out this way, like this. So now we are going to take this into this. So we put this into it, then we bring out our belt head. The belt head is like this, you can see it's like this. So the first thing you do is, you're going to put this into this part like this. No, first of all you do, first of all, you put this part into this hole, like this, you can see. Then you pass it through it like this, so this is how it is. Let me bring it out and show you again. This is our belt head. This is how what we just created looks. So you put this part of the belt head through this hole this way. So once you're done doing that, you just have to connect this into this part like this. And then you push this to this part like this. And then you place it this way. So the next thing we are going to do is, we are going to hook this part now. No, we are not going to leave it like this. So we will use, is either you take it to your sewing machine and sew it, or, or you use your rivets. This is the rivet. This is it. You can see this is the rivet. So you bring out your puncher, and then you place it on that part that you want to pin. Then you hit it to pierce a hole. So you can see we've successfully created a hole. The next thing you do is take this part of the rivet, you connect it through the under. Then you pierce it through the hole that we just created. Then you use this other part to cover it up like this. Then use your hammer to hit it. So this is how it looks. Now we successfully created this part. So the next thing is we are going to pierce our holes. Where we are going to, we are going to pierce our holes on our bed on our belt and to do that I'm going to mark from this point I'll mark like 2.5 inches away from each of the holes so here I'll mark where my 2.5 inches is then I'll use my puncher to create the holes so I'm going to create as many holes as, as I want. So 
So I'll mark another 2.5 inches or 3 inch. Let me just use 3 inches. So I want to pierce like, like six or seven holes. So I've successfully um, pierced my holes. This is how it looks. So we're done making our belt, so I'm, I want to fix This is how it looks. You can see this is very beautiful. It's very lovely. It's very beautiful. You can see this is our belt. It's very beautiful. So do well to practice your work. Snap your work. Post on your social media handle and hashtag ATN Craft Show with Selges. Thank you for staying with us. Stay blessed and stay productive. Hello, viewers. I'm Selges. Welcome to ATN Craft Show with Selges, the African fashion 